Hey guys, it's Taylor, and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by sportsfan1100.net. Today I'm going to be showing you how to slice images in Adobe Fireworks, or in better words, slice templates for websites in Adobe Fireworks so you can later import them into Dreamweaver. Now I'm going to be showing you how to slice them and then uh, later import them into Dreamweaver. So first of all, you want to have your template already made, uh, as seen here in Photoshop. Now, you can use Photoshop, you can use any other program to make the template. We just want to save it as a PSD. Why a PSD? Well, PSD saves it in the best file format and works best in Fireworks. So, have that template already ready and you can open it up right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> and just hit OK for the final, for the image size. And we have the template right here. Now, what we want to do is go to the web column, which is the fourth column down, and find the slice tool right here. Now, select the slice tool right here. Now, let me tell you, the slice tool in Fireworks is almost identical to the slice tool in Photoshop. This works almost identical. The, the reason why we're not doing this in Photoshop is because when once uh, sliced and then imported into Dreamweaver, there, there's problems such as when you link an image or any image that it was sliced, it becomes off-centered and your template's completely messed up. That's why Fireworks was the alternate solution for me, and later I used it to make my website. Now, what we want to do is grab the slice tool. Now, if we uh, open up Photoshop, and again, the slice tool is right here. It's the fifth one down, and slice. That's basically what it does, and if we go into Fireworks, it's almost the exact same thing. The only difference is the cursor, the cursor shape. And you also get a, a green selection that you can change right here. If you don't want a color, you can just hit that, but, you know. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to tell you is probably the most important thing in this whole tutorial. The Make sure you select or slice the things you want to have clickable. Now, for example, this menu bar, I want the whole, all the, all like the home, the tutorials, the forum, the about, the contact tabs to all be clickable. I want people to be able to go to each one of these pages. I also want people to go to these thumbnails so they can go to my YouTube account, my LinkedIn account, my Twitter account. And also maybe I wanted this logo, SportsN1100, to be linked to my YouTube account. And then this this little slogan be linked to my homepage. Now, this is very important. You want to have these, the main things you want to be clickable sliced. If you don't, things can turn out wrong. Now, for people who know somewhat about fireworks will know that if you only slice a few things Photoshop will take care of the rest and slice the rest of it now this can become a problem if you don't slice the things that you want to be clickable um, Adobe fireworks will basically have the final decision on what they slice <coughs> or what is sliced so they could have maybe tutorials and forum connected together for one image so basically when you're slicing you're basically making your own making a capture of the image and save and Adobe Fireworks basically just saves it and put it puts it into a subfolder. Now, it's very important to do this. So let's just slice the things that we want to slice. Now if you mess up you can just drag it down. Oops. And that doesn't seem to work too well, so just you can redo it. If my voice sounds a little weird, if I'm getting over a cold. Ugh. Okay. I'm also select or slice these uh, thumbnails right here. And this logo. And as well as that. Now, when we get onto the body content, as you see, in my, listen to this, in my template, I added borders to the side that are different colors than the actual body content. Now, if you were one of those people that added borders to their templates, you might want to listen to this. If you don't, you can just skip this part and find where I'm finished, or what, what you do when you finish slicing. Now, if you have borders, for the people who have borders, 
This is very important. If you're making a website which has a blog and the page is very long and is not the original size or is longer than the original size, you need to do this. If you have the bottom border image right here, have this be a separate slice than the rest of the body content. Now, the reason why you do this, because when you hit enter on the page, and once you figure out how to, you know, add text onto an image, once you hit enter on the page for the main body content, everything will move down except for this image. This image right here will stay the same. Same with these. If you don't slice these, they'll also stay the same. Trust me, this becomes a real big problem, guys. So please slice it right. Um, actually, if you slice, it's actually the opposite. If you... Sl or sl um, slice the side or the the Y borders differently, or s or separately, it'll make a whole new problem. So just if you're making a blog or a long page, select everything except for this and make or the bottom border and make this on a different selection. So let's do that right now. Now you don't have to do this if you want the page to be the exact same length and you're not considering on you know making it longer don't do don't, don't follow this all right okay now once done with the with slicing we're going to go to file and export or control shift r for the shortcut now the export window is basically like the the publishing window for photoshop or the web web page or what's it called our save for web and devices window for photoshop it's the exact same thing the only difference is the fireworks version is a lot basic or a lot more basic than the photoshop version in photoshop if you went to file um, save for web and devices or all control shift s it's a lot more complex and you're going to have a lot more things um, a lot more options that you don't want to mess with that's why probably I skipped a, pro uh, a, a step, and that's probably why when I link images in Dreamweaver, my things get off centered. But for right now, for people who don't want to waste all that time and look up those steps, you can use Fireworks. Now, for the export size or the export um, template, you want to be set at HTML and images, just like in Photoshop. Now, I'm saying this kind of like, I, I don't know why I'm talking like, People have used Photoshop, but, you know, if you have, this is great similarities. The file name can be whatever you want, doesn't matter. I definitely recommend having a subfolder called whatever you want. Maybe sports fan one one zero zero. Now we want to have everything exported into this folder. Now you can put images into a subfolder if you don't want to actually go into the folder and save everything. And that's what why this checkbox is here, and you can browse for the file or the folder. Now you want the slices to be at exported slices, the HTML to be at an export HTML file, not copy to clipboard. Don't do that. <laughs> and the pages to be at current page. Okay. Now when we get down to these two options, we want to have um, selected slices only to be unchecked, and the include areas without slices to be checked. Now, because this is unchecked, um, it basically saves your template. Because if this was checked, you're only going to have a few images in here. You're probably going to freak out and you know freak out and say, "Oh my God, what's going on?" So make sure you have that selected and hit save. Now, if we go to the folder, we're going to have everything sliced, all the sliced images in this folder. And we're also going to have the HTML file. If we open this up, we're going to have it right here. As you see, we have separate images as shown. Now, importing the file into Dreamweaver is very simple. If we go to File and Open and find where that folder was and go to the folder right here, you open the file up in Dreamweaver. So you basically can, can converted a PSD file to an HTML file in Fireworks and then yeah in Fireworks <laughs> basically and as you see all of, if you click on the images that you slice they'll all be separate images and you can link them and stuff like that and that's basically how people make templates. You can also delete these as well and add in your own. 
Now, if I were you guys, I would go to the code and edit the code a little bit, and maybe add a center tag at the beginning, or right, maybe right at the, uh, right over here. And at the end, end it. Oops. There we go. And then, you know, maybe I'd change the background a little bit. And do some more, maybe link these. And you can add your content. Now, um, I will be making the rest of the series on, you know, how to add text and stuff. But for right now, that's all you have to learn to slice images in Fireworks. I hope this tutorial helped, and thanks for watching. Also, I came across a user not too long ago called Altarius TV. He makes amazing Photoshop tutorials he, um, for how to make YouTube or uh, awesome YouTube layouts and such. Now, he offered to make a YouTube layout just for me because I was a partner and he wanted, you know, to basically make one for a partner and he's never done that before. So, definitely please subscribe to this guy. He's a really great YouTuber. He's made tons of Photoshop tutorials, and for right now, he only has 85 subscribers. So please, try to get him to 100 subscribers. He also has a website that you can check out all of his uh, websites, on his, or all of his images on his portfolio, and that's pretty much it. So please, try to get him to 100 subscribers, check out his channel, comment, um, tell, tell him that sports fan, or sports fan, or that I sent you here, and yeah. So thanks for watching, and... I'll see you later. Bye.